it's a power pack 400 and I'm I will modify this battery to work on like normal charger on the back the charging port is here so battery goes there and the charger going in two contacts which is minus and plus and this contact on the left side it's like signal cable no actually it's not signal it's just a voltage there which is coming from the signal charger and uh, there comes uh, 5 volt so uh, this contact here coming up here on the left side and on the battery this is going and uh, that 5 volt signal contact coming here yeah you see that that three wires here on the left side this contact is 5 volt i will modify this to work on normal charger which is only outputs uh, 42 volts and the problem that i have here is where should i put this connector you know i don't want to remove anything inside i want to left it as it is uh, from the factory so i decide the only the position that i found that i can put this is this corner here this corner and on this side here you see i made a hole there i should put this connector connector here and uh, so you may be asked that uh, when I will put this uh, cell voltage on the on this wire, which is five volt signal, if it will disbalance the cells. No, it's not because it's not consuming any power. Like, trust me, it's like nothing. There's no amperation. You just know there is voltage, and that's all. It's not consuming anything. As you can see, I drill out the hole there on the upper cover of the battery. So let's solder the wires on this connector. Here I put the wires on the connector. I will put the insulation now. Here is it. That's all. Connector is ready. So I will use the red and yellow wire as a 42 volt connect connection like red one for positive 42 volt and for negative yellow one and these two wires is just for make a short circuit uh, from the cell voltage and the signal cable so I plug everything and I'm building this side of connector now Here is it, the short circuit for this two connection, and uh, also there is plus and minus pins for normal charger. Here is the charger, and uh, here is our connector. I have found out that. Um, uh, 3 volt is not enough to open the MOSFET, so it's not charging with the one cell. Uh, all what we need is a module which will convert our voltage to 5 volt and will go there. I install this step down module for 5 volt. So I took the voltage from two batteries. It's about when it charged at 8.4 it's outputting 5 volt which is fine which is charging so everything is fine as you can see here is the charging port here is our power pack so here is our connector let's plug this in it's in and it's charging what about here yeah it's also charging so let's unplug so you can stop charging 
as you can see everything is working computer is on let's turn it off all fine <laughs>